Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Digital, a Devil Hesaga. In the last episode, we came to the Citadel, which is already our third dungeon, which is crazy to me. And, uh, well, we're going to head back the way I just came from, which was back down this hallway. I la we left off, we found the large terminal, perfect place to stop. But there was more doors in this room that I came from, and there's a switch or something in here. Oh, right, 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 right. There was these eyeball. Uh, there were the I wanted to see how this works. Inspect. The statue has red eyes. It looks like something can be inserted into the... Oh. We have to insert. We don't have any insertion devices. Never mind. We are going to look around. I did not realize it required insertion devices. Never mind. So I think what we have to do is we have to, like, make the statue's eyes yellow or something. The only reason I know that is because when we were down in the underground area, we came across one of those dudes that was dead, and his note said something about... Uh, yellow eyes sneak by or something like that um, yeah something like that anyway uh, these guys are weak to gun right Man, I wish I had like a weakness thing I guess the only way I'd really be able to do is analyze I just gotta remember weaknesses anyway these guys should be weak to gun but we're not um, using gun but I used magic to kill them right so magic in the air Maragi like you just don't care in the air, then my terror them into oblivion. Since we're nearby the save point that I can heal at, I'm alright with just kind of going all out right now. It's all good with me. Use your stuff. You will reveal it for money at the terminal. Ooh, and we'll get a level up for surf. My boy, surf! Okay, what are we going with? I think I'm gonna go defense, defense, magic. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Always good to have that D on your boy. On your main boy. Chip boy. Alright, we gotta get this insertion device apparatus around here somewhere. I don't know. Oh god, we got ambushed. Uh oh. Wow. Uh -oh. Um Y'all are weak to ice if I remember, so I'm gonna start this off by transforming with him. And then we're gonna bibbity bobbity boop this fool with the grenades. Let's go. Yeah. Oh shit, the birds are weak. Wait. Really? Really? When you hit two but miss one, you, you get a fail? Oh, grenade, how you have failed me so. Fucking grenade, dude. Dude! You stopped destroying me so hard? Really, though? I cannot believe how much damage I just took in that fucking flurry. That was not cool. I am not a fan. Also, they're not weak to fu They're weak to fire, you idiot! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. They're weak to fire, and I know they are. Oh my god, I missed again! I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. I'm gonna get a game over right off the bat in this episode because of missed attacks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, that was good. That was real good. That was stupid. Can I just mention how stupid that was? Fucking stupid. I may have got a little impatient there, sure, like, because I thought I had that, but then fucking I'm stupid. That was just me not remembering the weaknesses. <sighs> I need to just write this shit down and, like, keep track of it on my screen, like, my, my computer screen. Just be like, alright, these enemies are in this dungeon and this one's are weak to that. Like, as I go, write it down, once I learn it. Because the game doesn't tell me them. I could probably use Analyze, sure, to relearn the weaknesses, but I don't think there's an indicator on the screen that reminds you what the weaknesses are once you've found them. It's not like Persona in that way. And if there is, somebody for the love of God tell me, because I wouldn't mind knowing that. Also, was this the door that I went in? I don't remember what door I went in. This is the door I went in, okay. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Well, we'll have to redo that level up for my boy Surf. Is this the door I went in? Now I'm not even sure anymore. Well, whatever. We're going in this door because there's two... Oh, no. Well, I'm not walking through that room. Not the normal way, anyways. There's too many eyeballs looking at you. Why, there gotta be so many ways to go. I'm gonna get lost and cry like a little bitch ass hoe. So, they're weak to fight. That's all well and well and bueno. Alrighty then. Also, yo ass, looking pretty devourish. Get some of that devour, girl. 
Get in on that devouring action. Mm -mm, delicious. I'm just gonna boost with this guy. No reason to go all out there. Ooh, and we killed him, so that's even better. All the mo better. Yeah, there's definitely... There's definitely a, a place to learn Void Lightning here. Like, Void Lightning would be a good idea to learn. Because those ghosts, the bicorns or whatever, they were using lightning. And so are these guys, these birds. So it probably wouldn't hurt to use a little bit of that Void Lightning action. But anyway, we'll worry about that when the time comes. If the time comes. Oh, God damn, it's another one of these green fucking doors or whatever. Screen, green screens. Also, that is a fall in a hole situation right there. So we're going back. Cool. If you Come see on. the red eyes, don't blind. walk toward it. It will only end poorly if you walk toward the red eye. Um, actually, I would rather thwack the guy who's frozen. Because that crit hit, though. Boop. Nice. Oh, man, that was nice. Okay. Looking real nice. I'll take it. Freeze him. Or kill him. I will take either one. Buchika Buchika. That was Q. Buchika Buchika. That worked out well. Buchika Buchika. That was Q. You know what's not Q? Having to walk back and forth in the game when the random battles are this fucking plentiful. But hey, not much I can do about it. Not much. This means one dungeon is gonna take me way too goddamn long. That's all it really means. What were these guys weak to? I know they weren't weak to. I, I don't think that. I think they were just like good to hit with physical attacks, right? These goats. I'm just hitting them with magic because I want to kill the big dude. Otherwise, I would be nailing them with fucking regular attacks. Actually, Terra does pretty good. Not the vile boy. Oh no. Don't stunningly needle me, girl. Alright, I'm gonna go for the... No, I don't have anything that really hits all other than magic, so fuck it. You keep using magic. If I had something else that hit all, I would do it. Uh, whoops. I just clicked triangle. Well, lucky for me, sometimes triangle's all you need. I keep thinking triangle's back. <sighs> Play multiple games with the same kind of controller, PS2, PS3. Uh, get confused. I'm just gonna check this door first since it's right in front of me. What do we have? We have empty room! My favorite kind of room. Why is there so many empty rooms? I don't know. Explain to me. Uh, I want that. Is there a, uh, Oh, you fucking really? Fucking really? Oh, this dungeon. Mm, I already hate it. I already hate it. Like I fell down here earlier, that's fine. But I didn't even think about the fact that I was going to be falling down here multiple times. Ugh. This is... This is... Mm -hmm. This is some good times. That's what it is. Also, she is paralyzed and I didn't even realize. Nice. Okay. Well, like I knew she was paralyzed from the last battle, but I forgot didn't realize paralyzed carried over that's a fun status effect that carries over don't you love that <sighs> i know i do all right what do we have that anti fucking gets rid of that this stun oh that's stun not paralyzed whatever whatever it's called get rid of that shit get rid of that shit i love being down here again don't you it's probably my favorite thing that's ever happened to me today probably trying to think of things that are better than this. Not a whole lot, dude. Not a whole lot. I thought I was doing Bufu. Why did that not do Bufu? I don't know. I, for some reason, just shot right by Bufu there. I was meant to freeze his stupid ass, but no. It's alright. He died before he hit me, so I'm okay with it. Where the fuck... I can't believe I have to go through this again. This is just frustrating to have to do this again. Yeah. The good thing is I uncovered just about everything. The bad thing is I don't... Oh, god damn it. The bad thing is I don't remember where the fuck door is. All right, hold on. I'm going the right way. <sighs> Fortunately. <sighs> what are... 
Is this guy's weak to anything? I don't think so. I think I just had to hope to freeze them or whatever, which didn't work there. Didn't work there. Hellish thrust. Well, the only good thing about having to back track through an area you've already been is that, well, clearly I need to keep leveling up. Things are still pretty strong and need more stuff to have their ass to kill them. So, yeah, that was not logical. That was not the, lo the grammar that I meant to say out of my mouth hole. So, whatever, dude. You know what I was trying to say. Wait, you know what I don't know what I'm trying to say is how come I didn't go in here? What? I missed a door? What? There's a whole area I didn't even go to? Are you kidding me? Well, now I gotta know if there's more shit down here. Fuck. Fuck. Really, game? You're gonna have more shit than I didn't even... Okay, hold on. My... Uh, I probably should heal because it's getting close. And who knows, I might come across one of those doors that's got a big monster on the other side. How did I not go over here? Did I just completely walk by this? Holy moly, there's a whole area over here, too. Well, whole area, there's there's, there's two rooms, and maybe two dead ends. Which means we're likely to fall in these rooms later, too. Cool. Can't wait till that happens. Alright, I think it's time to start learning some more elements anyways, because it's looking like these fools are probably weak to lightning. That's why the bitches do void lightning. That would make sense. Well, I know the blobs are weak to ice, but like, it seems to me that the girl in the middle is probably colliding, hence why she does void electricity. It would stand to reason now, wouldn't it? Anyway. Whip it real good. She's pretty weak to regular attacks, right? Yeah, we good. Just, just fuck that bitch up. Give her that good old Mortal Kombat uppercut to the dome sack until you perish. Argilla was 16. More magic skills, dude. She's beast. And she got her MP back. What you know about getting that MP back, though? Oh, free. Oh, free! Can't believe I missed the door that's right next to the ladder. What the heck, man? How'd that even happen? How'd that even happen? I don't even know. Sound effect of climbing the ladder. All right. Well, I'm not even gonna go back the way where I just fell down. I also kind of don't even want to fight these guys, but I guess I will. Transform. Uh. None of these guys are weak to gun. No. So. Uh. Transform. Autobots. Transform. Don't hammer me, bro. Your hom at home, homie. Hommy. Yes, this fucks you, Zio, man. All the more reason to have Void Lightning. Or Void Elect. Um, the Blue Food, I guess? O only say, I guess, because the flying guy is definitely good to hit, hit with magic. Also, damn it! I need to stop using Grenade. It's not good. It's got bad accuracy. It's not good. It's very not good. Very not good for me and my family. Okay. Uh, well, just fire shot. Maybe that'll do better. Better accuracy? I'll take it. Better than grenade. Oh, but it took up it took up Argilla's turn. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just a little bit annoying. Anyway, whack him. Got him. Um, hopefully grenade hits him. Good enough. Whack him. Got him. Went okay. Could have went better, but okay I'll take. Uh, let's see. Get a couple quick Diaz up in here. Dia Diaz up in this Via Via. Alright. Don't need to bother with this room until we get the insertion device. Whatever the hell that's going to be. And we'll check the other doors in here now, because now we know where one, two go. Let's see where the other three, four are. There's a lot of doors up in this hole. Boom, 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 boom,
I'm thinking I should probably save it again, huh? I think that's probably a good idea. We went up a couple levels. Um, whoops, that is the wrong button. Eh, kill him. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Leave your stun needles ahead of you. Yeah. I'll well just fuck the bicorn up. Send the bicorn back to his roots. What I mean, root. What, what, when I say roots, I mean like the tree, and then we bury his dead body at the roots of the tree. That's that's what I mean. I don't know what roots you're talking. About. I don't know what racist roots you're thinking about. Get out of here! Get out of here! You fucking angel asshole! Angel asshole! Angel asshole! You be the judge. You decide. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and heal and save because this is the kind of game where anytime you rock walk, little rock rock, anytime you rock walk by a save point, you should probably just save it. You've probably fought a handful of battles, which in this game is progress. So save that shit. Every little bit helps, man. Every little bit helps. See that? Everybody's gone up one level since I started the video. That means progress has been made. That's how we measure progress in this playthrough. Did we do any battles and get any progress? Yes, yes, we did. Even with a game over, we've made progress. So I'm okay with how this has gone so far. I'm gonna go this way first. I'm gonna be careful of these fucking eyeballs. If I can. I know some of you guys um, might have a little bit of worry for me while I'm playing this, like that I'm getting burnt out on the whole RPG thing right now, like this kind of RPG, because it's very Persona-ishness. I mean, besides the fact that Shin Megami Tensei, but it also kind of feels like I'm playing a Persona-ish game still, even though I literally just finished up the other one. Also, no, you're not supposed to bring your friends to the party, not unless they got an invitation. Shit, I forgot they are immune and reflect shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's my bad. Um... Anyway, don't worry about me, Argentina. Don't cry for me. Uh, I was just going to get at the fact that I'm actually playing another RPG right now. That might be why I feel like it may sound like I'm a little burned out. I actually started playing Octopath Traveler on my Switch because I'm not waiting to play that shit on for you guys. I, I could, but I'm not going to. I I don't have a place for it on my channel or a stream will be a long while before I do probably so I decided fuck it I'm playing I'm playing Octopath Travel on my own time and you know what I'm all good with it. I'm having fun with it I've only barely started I've only really gone on to having a second character remember it's Octopath there's eight characters so God, fucking nerf you're ruining this fucking cows uh what am I trying to get at here? I guess my point is, uh, I wanted to bring up Octopath Traveler. I don't know, I just felt like it, because I like it, and I want to keep playing it, and I ain't fun with it. It's weird, because with the Switch, every game I have on it, I've actually played. Like, a lot of consoles, especially, well, right when I start off, of course, you play all the games, but like, with me, lately, I've been accumulating too many games to play, and not enough time to play them all. With the Switch, though, I'm trying to just buy a game I'm going to play when I'm going to play. Because there's still games on the Switch that have been out since it came out that I haven't even bought yet that I'm pretty sure I would play if I did buy. But I feel like if I'm not going to play it right now, I don't want to spend the money on it. You know, it's like, okay, I could buy the game ARMS if I wanted to. But how much would I really play it right now? It's like, it's like the reason why I didn't buy Splatoon for the Wii U originally. I bought it, like, way later. And then it turned out, you know, you saw me play it, like, just late last year. Like, that's a good example of a game that I just waited to buy because I wasn't going to play. And, well, I decided to just buy it when I did, just because it was for sale. <laughs> um, don't want to go that way. That's a fall in a whole situation. No, thank you. Um, yeah, because for some reason, Splatoon, well, it's because of the Wii U, really. Splatoon kind of became hard to come by there at the end there. And I think it's just because the Wii U became hard to come by. Kind of got rare there for a minute. I would say it's pretty rare to get a Wii U right now, as far as I know. I don't know. Anybody out there trying to get a Wii U? Maybe let me know how rare and hard it is to get it right now. I really don't know. I bought one when it came out. 
or at least around when it came out. Not right when it came out. So anyway, yeah. Um, there's games on the Switch I've been thinking about, like Arms. Uh, what was that other one that I was thinking about? Um, I am blanking on the name right now, but I'm sure it'll come to me in a sec. Or not. Or I'm just going to sit here and think about it for 20 minutes and not even have anything to say. Uh, there's plenty of indie games I've thought about. Like, instead of buying them on, like, PS4 or, the, or Steam, you buy them on Switch just so I have them on there to play whenever I'm out and about someday. Plus, the resolution is great if I play it on TV. So it really doesn't, like, take anything away from playing it on the, on the Switch over the PS4, you know? Like, there's some indie games on there I've thought about. Stardew Valley is definitely one. That, although that's not one I plan on doing any videos on ever. I just thought about buying it because, well, it's fucking... It's Stardew Valley. It's, it's fucking Harvest Moon on steroids. Sounds like a fun game to me, but... Goddamn, I don't know if I want to spend the time to play such a game. But the Switch would be a perfect console to play it on, so that's why I haven't bought the game yet. Because that's why I want to play it on eventually, if I do play the game at all. And there's other games like that that I'm thinking of, but I'm not thinking of the names right now. I'm sure they'll come to me someday. Either way, though, there's always the upcoming Switch games that I'm excited about as well. I.e. Metroid Prime 4, someday. Or Smash Bros. Whatever they're going to call it. Someday. That's coming out later this year. I'm actually pretty high for Smash Bros. Let's not deny it. Smash Bros. is going to be nice. I can't wait to play some Smash Bros. on here. Stream it up. Have some of you guys play along with me if you have a Switch. It's going to be good times. And plus, I can still use my GameCube controller adapter. I think that is awesome. I got one of those for my Wii U, so I can keep playing Smash with it. And of course, for the Switch, they kept the fucking compatibility. I love it. And I love that you don't have to buy another one if you don't want to. You can use the one that came with the Wii U. Even though they're going to sell and produce more of the adapters, which is a good idea if they're going to have the Switch because it sold a lot more than the Wii U. Um, it's just cool. It's just cool, man. It's just real cool. Anyway, here's the other side of this statue head that was looking at me. Oh, hey, look. Treasure. Nice. Worth it. Give me something good. Active cell. Woot. <sighs> I mean, I say woot like it's a bad thing, but really, we haven't even just figured out what the hell we can get from picking up stuff like that yet. You need to take that shit back to the main area and be like, yo, what can I get for that? Also, my girl is silenced right now. That only ended sadness. Um, I'm gonna just attack for now. Or I'm gonna miss! Why? Why am I gonna miss? Why is the auto attack worse than regular attack? I don't care if he has defense improved. He didn't have shake and bake improved. Physical attacks improved. Get out of here. Nobody likes you, big cow fuck. You don't even look like you're gonna do an attack. Apparently he is. Aji Lao. Ow, ow, ow. Get ow, ow, ow. Up here, here, here. Should probably do a silence heal on my girl, huh? What do you think? Argilla? What say you about your silence? Oh wait, you can't speak for you are silenced. Let me fix your muteness. Your muteness is gone. What say you? Um, thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. Alright. I gotta thank you. Okay, that's blue. Blue I can walk in front of? Okay, cool. Noted. I thought yellow was a color that could happen. We haven't seen it yet, but if we do... I'm gonna try and sneaky like in front of I don't know if you can can you walk in this game? I feel like you can't walk. Maybe there is no yellow. Maybe there's only blue and red. Okay, where the hell does this come out? Does this come out in front of that oh it does. Wait, was there a door there? There was not. Okay, so actually the statue I thought we were on the other side of was not that one. We were on the other side of a different statue. Interesting. Very interesting. So very, very sweet. I'm sorry. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going back the way to get the fucking treasure I already got. Damn it. God damn it! 
dungeon's gonna take me a while. I think so. I think it's safe. I think it's safe to assume this dungeon's gonna take me a while. Like we've literally just looped around this one area where the save point is, which is where we started the video, and I'm already 20 plus minutes into this shit. This is gonna be this kind of let's play. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find more to talk about. Cause it's not even gonna be boredom, it's just gonna be like, what is Funky gonna talk about for fucking this many minutes? What are the um they do Terra, I wanna say, right? I'm trying to remember what those stat those those soldier looking guys do. I think they do Terra. So we're gonna avoid Earth and hope that, that will save us. Save us from Earthness. And nope. Come on, do Matera. Do it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, give him my turn. The enemy's frightened. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's devour him. Man. Give me your soul. Give me your soul, I said. Yes. Mm, your soul tastes quite delectable. And let me have your soul as well. See, now we can spread the wealth and I won't get full from my devouredness. I like that. I like that a lot. Again, I got my Terra there, but hey, it was worth it to have two devoured. Ooh, nice crit go. Nice crit hit go. Oh, that's a beautiful crit hit though. Get that dude. Whip him with your hands. Whip him with your hands. Whip him with them with your hands. Get that level up. He whip him with your hands. Boy. Right. Just, keep, just keep my HP smart. Smart, smart, smart. Alright, make sure you don't go the wrong way. Which is what we're doing. I just need to go back this way. When there's so many doors, you get easily turned around and shit. Okay, I already went to the end of this. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't go down this way. This was on the way. Oh, just here for some treasure. Don't mind me. What? Took damage. What is this shit? What? Trap chest? Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. Get out of here. Right, I'm just gonna pound this for you. Pound this cow. Pound the cow. That sounds inappropriate. Don't pound cows, guys. Whatever you do, don't pound cows. Unless they're already grinded up into hamburger form. And thus, pounding your meat is really the way to go to tenderize that shit and make it into a delicious, delicious hamburger. So, you know. Use, pound your meat at your own discretion, I guess is really what I mean in this life. I'm going to go ahead and save it again since we took the time to do that loop of bullshit. Probably a good idea. Also, I hate that they got to go first. Why? 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 Would somebody care to tell me why? Why, I, I, oh. Why, I, oh. Why, I, 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 oh. And DQ. That's another game I'm excited about. Let's just talk about excitement for future games today because I got nothing else to talk about. When the fuck is Spyro coming out? Spyro, the Dragon, Remaster, Trilogy, whatever. Dude. I'm so fucking happy for that game. Like, I saw another like gameplay trailer for, and it had some of the Spyro 2 gameplay in it, and it happened to be that Y I I O level, you know, the one that I was just imitating. If you know Spyro, you know what I'm talking about. And it looked beautiful, and it made me want to play it even more, because I just keep seeing this game, and I'm like, man, I want to play that. I like every time I see this, like, I want to play that right now. Like, literally right now, I want to play it. I'm glad it exists. I'm glad it's coming, but I want to play it right now. So, can you please, like, release it right now? Right now, right now? Because I would totally be playing and streaming that, like, right now. Like, no bullshit. I fucking want to play that game so bad. I've been dying to play Spyro ever since I heard that they were doing the trilogy. Like, I've been trying to play Spyro for a while on this channel. But ever since that, that trilogy was hinted at and then finally confirmed... Shh, fucking count me fucking sold. Anyway, he just... He just learned his mantra, so we're going to go ahead and do something with that as well, since we can. What are we working on next, Heat? He learned how to be a Garud or something, I don't know. Um, well, he already has this one. Physical attack auto skills. Poison dart. Light. Ooh, man, that looks like some good stuff. Um, man, I'm going to go with this one. Because 
I don't know, it's 25 hundo Maka. Reasonable number. She's not quite done with what she's doing. He's not quite done with what he's doing. He's learning, he's learning Ice Level 3, so yeah. Then take a minute. I feel like in long run, long term, it's going to be worth it, though. That Ice Level 3, going to kick some ass. We're going to get that Bufula up in here. It's going to be a glorious rain of ice upon my enemies where they will freeze upon freeze upon freeze and the wish mr victor freeze was there to alleviate their frozenness what was i gonna do i think i was gonna do something else but i think i'm just i'm just babbling about spyro that's all i really remember anyway let's go over here now let's see if we fall down on another hole for funsies i still haven't found the fucking way out of here you know that'd be great That'd be great. Okay, I guess I'm gonna just check one of these doors, cause fuck you. Cause fuck you! Oh god, okay, uh... Well, I think it's probably safe to grab this. And... We got a Brave Ration, not too bad. Okay, so the rest of this room, not safe. Get the fuck out of here. At least not from this perspective. Too many red eyeballs looking at me, man. I haven't found shit, by the way. I'm trying. We're trying to find a thing that can like activate or deactivate or change or do something to these fucking statues. Cause we found two points of insertion and nothing but our dick to stick in it. So where the fuck is my insertion box? I need it. I need it. I desire it. I want it. Argilla with that level 17. Give me that magic boost, babe. And she got some more vitality. Good. She needs the defense. Otherwise, I was going to start singing the defense song. You know. <laughs> defense. Um, if I take one step forward, I fall in a hole, right? Right? No. Oh, so it's only the square directly in front? Oh. Well, I just learned a little bit about how this works. I thought you couldn't go two squares. Hey, this is the hole I fell in at the beginning. We're all the way back at the beginning now, finally. I found the beginning, guys. Holy crap. I never actually, like, scrolled the map over there to figure that out. Okay. Interesting. Well, it looks like to go further into the dungeon, we're going to need to go over there anyway. Like, through the, you know, figure out the insertion device thing. But it looks like we're about to make it back to the beginning. So... We are going to make it to that door back at the beginning. All right. Oh. Ooh. Another save point in here. Why is there another save point here? Are we about to fight a mini boss or something? Dead body of a member of Marybelle. Worn out words can be seen on the corpse of tomb. Watch out for that woman. She will repel you. Uh, what? That woman. Ooh, that woman. Can't you smell that woman? No, that's not the way. That's not the song I was thinking of, even though that's what came to mind. No, the song I was actually thinking of was Evil Woman, Evil Woman. That's the song, dude. Get that one in there. How many of y'all heard that song before? Evil Woman. That's a classic. Anyway, are we about to fight something right now? I think we are. Don't be scared of the woman. She repels you. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm about to have the power to compel her. Let's go. Member of the Solids. Aha! I thought the thong chick had come back again. The thong chick? But this is some bitch in a long, ugly skirt. Oh, green, green head. Either way, you have a horrible taste, so you might as well die. I am from Solid. Uh, you must die. Okay, so... She's the Valkyrie, dude. The Valkyrie is scary. When you say repel, do you mean magic or do you mean attack? I feel like magic attack... I mean, physical attacks is what she repels. Like, if... 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 If Persona's any indicator, physical attacks is a bad idea. I'm actually going to try one just to make sure. Oh, okay. Well, that one repelled, so... So, I need to suck on that, bitch. Alright. Yep. Are you close? <sighs> Must you silence me? Must you make the woman quiet? Ooh, yes. The Frozen. The Frozen! Let's go. Yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, we're actually probably almost done killing this bitch already. So I'm just going to go straight for the... I just try to devour her. Why not? No? Okay. Mufu? 
For the win! Nice. Repel that shit, homie! That's what I thought. If that's the bitch I was supposed to be scared of, F that. F all of that. Mm -hmm. Strange object. Touch it. Okay. L statue key. Times a one. That's what I wanted. And the door is locked. Unlock the door. Yes, please. Door unlocked. Yay. Super yay. Okay, cool. Well, honestly, there's not really any reason for me to go back this way, right? This just leads back to the beginning. The only thing over here is a green force field door, which, well, we don't care about, right? Because, like, the entrance didn't have shit. Except for... A, oh wait, there was a yellow and there's like a yellowish green and a blue door. Oh god. Well, whatever. You know what that means though? We can actually use one of these terminals to get us somewhere we need to be, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's just teleport right away. There's no reason to like save it here or anything. We're gonna go to a we're gonna go to a bigger and better terminal where I want to be anyway. So we might as well save it over here. You know what I'm saying? First we're gonna restore a little cheap restore because it doesn't cost that much. Then we're gonna save it. And then we're going to go and do a thing. Yeah. So, shh, I'm. this is going to be an interesting Let's Play for commentary. Because, again, we've ar you've already listened to me today. I've babbled about random shit. And I'm about to talk about more random shit. And what better shit to randomly talk about than the stuff I do on my daily basis right now. So, lately, at least not daily basis, but like lately... Like, what, what's going on in my life current events-wise? Like, let's just, let's just talk for a few minutes. Um, well, I, I mean, not everything, but the main thing is uh, lately I've been listening or watching. Um, those of you who know, I am a huge wrestling fan, like professional wrestling. Um, and uh, at least, like, the classic stuff ever since, like, probably, like, from when I was a kid to early 2000s. That's my heyday of wrestling anything after that is okay some of it's pretty good like to watch but i'm not all into the stories like i used to be um my point is on the wwe network those of you that are into what that is it's just a streaming service to watch wrestling basically um they have a podcast on there which not really a podcast it has video to it but whatever it's a video podcast whatever you want to call it and uh i fucking love it it's called uh, something else to wrestle and the main guy on there, classic wrestling producer, Bruce Pritchard. And if you watch classic wrestling, you should know him uh, by his other name, on screen character, Brother Love. Classic 80s and 90s fucking talk show, you know, like a in the ring doing interview host type of situation. He was fucking ridiculous. But the point is, Bruce Pritchard. He's been around in the business for a long ass time. He's a producer, so he's behind the scenes with Vince McMahon doing all the, you know, setups, writing scripts, doing all, you know, coming up, helping coming up with all the storylines and shit. And listening to his podcast, and then the guy that's on the podcast with him is just like a, a wrestling fan who just is very knowledgeable, like very, very knowledgeable. And his name's Conrad uh, Thompson or something. I don't know. Huge wrestling. Uh, he's he's big in the wrestling fandom community. Everybody knows who he is. Uh, even the wrestlers know who he is because he's around for so long. Uh, my point is I've been fucking on that podcast lately. Like, I know I'm running out of episodes on there. There's only like two or two left after the one I'm on. So, like, I'm two and a half done from being through all the ones they have on there. But I'm seriously considering actually going to their website which is just something to wrestle with. Because the one they're doing on the WWE Network is called Something Else to Wrestle With. Because... Had to, they had to make it different from their actual podcast, which they've been doing for a couple of years, I guess. Which is called Something to Wrestle With, with Bruce Pritchard. Or something to Wrestle With Bruce, Bruce Pritchard. I need fucking, I can't say his name. Bruce, Bruce Pritchard. So anyway, just wanted to point out there that I fucking love that podcast. And I will, I will put that up there. If anybody's a real wrestling fan, like, when I say real, I mean like, you understand how it works, you get that it's fake, you understand that it's a script and soap opera, but you still love watching it, because whether you grew up on it and you just have the nostalgia for it, or you actually genuinely are entertained by it, because of the athleticism and the ridiculous stories, whatever reason you're entertained by for it, I will not judge you, I fucking love that shit, so I will not be the guy to ever say anything bad about a wrestling fan, for sure. Um, 
But my point is, that podcast is fucking great. I love it, and I, I just, I just love listening to guys who talk about that stuff, who understand all of it, and have stories to just so I know more about the wrestlers I grew up with. You know, I learn a lot of backstage stuff listening to this podcast. It's just great to hear backstage story stuff and just like. It humanizes your, your favorite idols from when you were a kid, if you watched wrestling as a kid like I did. Anyway, this chest is bullshit. I don't like these these news. These news can suck it. I'm going to foo-foo them and freeze them to death. Oh, or they're going to have a shield. That's cool. Do they have a shield about everything or just ice? Or did they do void ice and I wasn't paying attention? I, this is what happens when I'm babbling. Um, whatever. They got fucking... They don't have, they, they're not, they don't shield ice completely, do they? They do! Okay, okay, I'm stupid. Don't mind me, I'm just a dumb. I just like wasting two turns because I wanted to just, it's like touching the stove twice. I just had to touch the stove twice to make sure it was actually that hot. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, in that case, just thwack a new. Damn, 102 though? Yo, I think we're going to go ahead and just thwack a new. Is that because of the defense lowering thing? Because holy moly. I don't even want to heal. I just want to thwack him. If I could do over 100 damage right now? Worth it. I say it's worth it. These guys aren't that bad. These guys aren't so bad. I think it's just because his fucking surf is strong as shit. Or something. I don't know. Fucking new. Do I get an item at least for that shit? Really? You just... When you fucking... Oh my god. Really? A mimic chest, as I call it, because it becomes an enemy, just gives you nothing. Just a battle. It's like, hey, there's a battle here. Sucks to be you. I mean, you can't really say it's nothing when experience matters in this game a lot. Like, you want to level up. Leveling up is a paramount... Paramount? Is a important... Uh, well, it's not important in any RPG, but... Super important in a game like this, where it's all dungeons, dungeon crawl, grind, grind type shit. This is a dead end. Not going that way. Can't go that way. Ooh. Can I? I can't go that way. Nope. All right, we're going this way then. Want that tread, dude? I want that hot, hot tread. You can't. You can't snake me with your tread. Okay. Uh. Remember. The only good thing. The one, or one of the good things we should say about, even though I'm forgetting, like, what the weaknesses are between episodes on my own time, it doesn't really matter, because after one or two battles, I'm going to remember them. So, yeah. With the encounter rate the way it is, I'm not going to be like, oh man, I'm only going to fight this guy one time in the next half an hour. No, we're going to fight him at least five, six, eight times, twenty more million times. So, I'd say... Even though I forget on the first time when I fight these things, it, the fact that I have to fight them a bunch more times anyways, it's good to make sure I check for weaknesses again to make sure I know what they were. Even if I forget. So like these guys, I don't even have a weakness, I don't think, right? I don't think so. I don't, like, I don't have a legit weakness for these guys. Not yet. Anymore. Yeah, I do. It's called crit hits the face, bitch! 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 Be scared. No? How about you just be dead? Johnny be dead. Yeah. All right. Raxas. All right. Damn, that encounter rate, though. No, don't pass. Oops. I didn't mean to pass. That was accident. It's okay. Everything's fine. Passing will not be the death of me. It will not be the death of him, Cal. It will not be the death of me. Hey, it will be the death of them, though. I forgot all three of their attacks combined kill them now. I saw that earlier and I, I didn't commit it to memory. So there you go. Or I guess I did commit it to memory, but I forgot. So, what does that mean? I don't know. This is that treasure I tried to grab earlier before I fell in the hole. So, cool for me. Codex Cell. I had to just said code, not codec. It's code. It's just because there was a C at the beginning of Cell. So it made me think codec. Yeah, I know. Thwack, thwack a mole. Thwack a cow. Thwack a cow. Baby. Don't raving slash me, bro. Get out of here. Don't thrust me to hell, bro. 
Don't burn me to Ajilo. Just die. That's all I ask. All I ask is that you just fucking die. Is that too much to ask? Well, you know what? I don't give a fuck what you think. So, how about that? How about dim apps? You like dim apps? Because I like dim apps. Y'all like dim apps? I'm gonna avoid it again. See what happens. Try to earth, earth fuck me. Or you can just trust me. That works too. Alright. The beatdown continues then. No, he didn't die. Lame. Thought he was gonna die right there. Mobby! Now he's dead. Didn't plan that well, but hey, Surf went up a level, so whatever. Eat on that. Um, Vitality again is good. I'm going to go Agility twice, because I don't even know what it's good for. But it seems like it's falling too far behind. Um, let's do... No, what are you doing? Just use skills. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's no reason to even think about using an item when you're outside of battle. There's no even reason. If you do that, it's because you have nothing. Right now, I don't have nothing, so we are good. Stop passing, bro! I know you be smoking or you be passing, but stop passing! It's not the desired, required, uh, thing. Yeah. No! You're not supposed to call friends. Friends don't let friends exist. Oh, you're getting eaten now, bitch. You're getting eaten now, homie. Yum, yum, nom, 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 nom. Yum nom nom nom. Oh, he's not dead. Well, he's about to be. And yum nom 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 nom. <laughs> I'll beat the shadows guy for, de for, for death. No, I won't. He'll do it back to me once before we get him. Lame. Lame snoss. I wonder if I should get rid of that venom thrust move for heat. I don't dislike the move, but he learned a bunch of new moves a minute ago, and I never even checked to see what they were. I forgot what I was learning. They were physical abilities or something, right? I don't even remember what they were now. <sighs> anyway, okay, so all I've picked up was the left gem or whatever. I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to save it and head back to the room and see if having just the left gem is helpful. If not, I'm missing something here, and we're going to have to figure out what to do from there, then. We'll have to figure out where I haven't been, but I feel like I've explored this whole area around this large terminal now, so I'm really going to have to get my shit together. So, what happens if I go over here? Statue with red eyes. Looks like something can be inserted in the statue side. Insert left key statue. Yes, please. Key may be turned in either direction. Turn it which direction? Right. Oh. Statue's eyes switch from red to blue. They change from suck to blow. Alright. Oh, okay. So we did it. Statue with red eyes. It looks like some... Um... So I need the right key statue. Right. Or whatever. Right key. So I explored this whole fucking area. Pretty much. I guess there's a door over there. That I didn't go to. You know what? Like a door over here. Let's go over there again. Because now that I understand how the statues work a little better. There's probably something else I could have done over there. And I got scared because I was, you know, there were statues everywhere and I thought I was just going to fall. There might have been a way I could have finagled my way through one of those rooms, you know? Let's go check it out. Uh, my only thing right now is I'm creeping up on an hour already. By the time I get over there and get back, it'll probably be an hour. It's alright. This is the episode where I just do this, because there's going to be episodes like this, unfortunately. And that's where I'm like... Like I said, I'm trying to like think this might be the one LP because of the way it's laid out and because the dungeons are very story light. Uh, I'm going to have to find things to talk about, just random shit. And today I think I've done a sufficient job at that. I don't want to blow my load and start talking about everything going on in my life all in one video. 
So I'll try to save some of it for next time. Um, but anyway, just keep that in mind. I, don't, I wouldn't mind comment questions of the day. That'd be something we could do. If, if, if you guys that are watching this are so inclined to come up with something to... When I say comment questions, I mean comments from you to me of just, you know, things we could talk about. Even if it's, like, suggestions of things to discuss. It could be about whatever at this point. Anytime we're in an episode where I'm just doing this and I'm not like I'm not making much progress story-wise or like most of the episodes are probably going to be dungeon. You guys could probably foresee that for those of you who've played this before. You can at least go, okay, he's probably going to be in this dungeon for at least another episode. He's going to need some shit to talk about. Feel free to suggest something. A topic even. Just be like, hey, you can talk about this for a little while or Hey, tell me more about this. If I ever say something that sounds like you want to hear more about, feel free to fucking bring it up. Because at this point, again, things to talk about. And when we're just walking through a dungeon, I got nothing. Almost, I mean, I got nothing but my own brain to go off of. So, yeah. This might be the first time I've ever done this with an LP just because I've never really done a dungeon crawly LP. I know Persona has been that, but like... I could just cut most of that out. But when this game is mostly going to be dungeon crawl and that's all it is, which I think that's exactly what it's going to be, uh, I got to show it. I can't cut it all out. I mean, I could cut out grinding sessions, but when I'm still trying to explore and figure things out, I got to show it. Best I could do is cut out battles, but even then I don't want to do that. Like, not, not to the extreme that I've done in the past, at least. Okay, so I can't... Oh, wait. I can go this way. I can go in this door. See? I was scared, but I shouldn't. Alright, then the right eye key has to be over here somewhere for sure. Also, I should have healed. It's probably unwise. Oh no, they voided themselves from dying with death. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Um, retreat, that's what. I don't know why, I just decided I was going to do that. <laughs> probably not going to do that too often, but hey, whatever. Maybe I'll do it more often than I expect. All depends on the situation, and that was one of those situations where I said, fuck it, I don't want to. I don't like that combo of enemies. The cow plus those guys, not fun. Not a fun combo. Not when you don't have the right abilities to, for their weaknesses, which I'm sure I can get, I just don't have. So my next question is, can I get through this room? Not from this direction, I'm assuming, but like... Yeah, I can't go this way. But I might be able to come in through the other side and actually make some progress in that room. Now that I know that the even if the red eyes are looking at you from far away, it doesn't matter. Is there anything else over here? I don't know. Even two cows is annoying, but at least two cows are just two cows. They don't have a friend. Change it up. Switch up the old curveball. Just beat, beat a cow down. Beat a cow down. Can observe all the earth he wants. Are they actually weak to earth? I wonder. Because they reflected fire and ice, but I never did try earth because of that was a thing. But the fact that they do absorb earth makes me not even want to bother trying, even though it probably is their weakness. That's why they do it. That's generally how it works. You want to have a move that makes your weakness not your weakness anymore. And I believe these cows possess said skill. got a soma drop but we still need that right eye key it's got to be through here then man all right so we can take a step forward here is that red it is okay so actually we can take two steps forward here and we're safe to go here um what else is in this room i can go over here oh shit dead person hello dead body of a member of mary bell worn out words can be seen at the corpse certificate. careful with the next one it's tough. Wow. Fucking riveting. Fucking riveting. Careful with the next one. It's tough. <laughs> oh, what were these bitches weak to? I haven't fought one of these in a minute. Were you? Did we even find a weakness for them? I don't remember. I don't recall. Did we? The suck of bitches. Were y'all weak to anything that I did? Probably not. They might be weak to guns or something. Please don't allure me. Fuck you! Please don't drain me! Oh, force absorbs you? What does that do? 
Ah, uh, come on, man. Two charms? Uh, kinda wish you could whack the charm out of him. Damn it, she shook my magic. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is fun. Three succubus is just alluring me to death. This is so much fun. So much fun. I can't believe it. Fuck all y'all bitches. They're still all alive, dude. Please stop. Please stop. Argilla, can you please stop? Oh, hey, heal yourself. No, don't heal them. Heal yourself. Expel, repel. What the fuck does that mean? What that means? Stop charming me. Cut it out. Oh, my God. We're going to get a game over from charm. I need fucking charm anti-charms. Fuck. There goes her. She survived. Holy shit. Yep, he was charmed all right. Are y'all gonna be weak to guns? That'd be nice. You are not weak to guns, but I got a crit hit. Great. Fucking great. That worked out so well. I'm glad I did that. Holy moly. Well, if I get an opportunity, I'm running. Because fuck this fight. I said if. We may be looking at a hot game over right now. Maybe not. Good lord, dude. Nothing about this is good. We need to run. Retreat! Shit, shit, that shit just, I, I, I never thought that would be that annoying. Holy crap. We need a weakness for those bitches if we run into them again. Because they are very dangerous with that allure. It said the next one would be difficult. The game didn't lie. Alright, well, I don't know. I don't think there's another treasure over there. There's another path over there, though. We'll have to check what's over there next. <sighs> so many enemies, though. Um, fuck. I don't know. I don't like the fact that there's two of them. I want to hit all, but I also want to kill one of these bitches quick. There we go. Crit hit. Loving it. Alright. That's exactly what I needed, so I'm happy now. Alright. I'm cool with it. I'm cooler than your mom right now. Get it. Come on, man. Really? It's alright. She didn't do she didn't do a lure. I'm good. We're in there, dude. We're in there if that bitch don't do a lure. Why they don't both do Zyanga? Fuck if I know. Get out of here. All right, time to beat these goats. These goats up. These goats need to go. These goats need to go back to Gautier and tell them about somebody that they used to know. Now they're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. Did I make that reference a lot in Catherine? I don't even remember. I feel like I played Catherine so fucking long ago. That was like last year, wasn't it? <laughs> Feels like it was an eternity ago for some reason. Maybe that was two years ago. I don't remember now. I have to go back and look at the date on that shit. I feel like it was last year, but maybe it was longer. Anyway. Did I make the goat yay reference there? Because we had ghosts everywhere in that game. Fuck a suck. Fuck a suck. Fuck a suck, dude! Oh, come on. Please don't allure me. Do anything but allure. I really don't care. Anything but allure. Thank you. You are the best. When there was three of them, they allured me to death. But not when there's only two. They don't care. They care less. She improved her magic, huh? I didn't even think about the fact that improving magic in this game is different than improving attack in Persona, which also improves your magic. Didn't even equivocate that till literally right now. I mean, sure, I kind of half-ass noticed that, really, but I didn't really think about it till just now. Like, and go, oh yeah, that is different. <laughs> anyway, this episode's gonna be a little bit on the longer side, I think. Longer than last episode, anyway. Ooh, it's time for the big boy again, is it? Um, I did just heal, right? Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. I'm ready for a big boy. Hopefully, this is where. Oh, this is a bigger boy. Oh no, this is some kind of chimera motherfucker. Well, beware the big one, it said. Hello, Matsio. Oh my god, where's the void elect when you need it, dude? Dude, don't get two turns. Come on now. Get out of here. Alright. Fufu? Not the move. Okay. I'm gonna just check all of them because we don't know. 
He is weak to fire. Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to check Earth anyways. Even though fire is the weakness. Check them all. Dude, Earth and fire. Earth, wind, and fire, bro. I wonder if he's weak to wind. We won't know because we don't have it, but he could be. Um, yeah, just whack him. Fuck Not bad. Better off doing magic. That did not do a lot of damage. Magic is clearly the way to go for some damage. Matsyo! Zionga! Okay, this is not so bad. I can... If he doesn't get any, like, crazy status effects shit going, I'm, I'm gonna be okay here, I think. So we're gonna get a couple, at least an extra turn. I don't know, two extra turns every time because of Augie and Terra. Which is pretty nice. Oh, and we got a victory already. Yo. Tis why you're not a boss, bitch. You just think you a boss, bitch. Anyway, we got that level up for my girl, Aguila. Sure, magic is looking real nice. Also, her HP and MP fully healed. Ooh, is this going to be the right eye of Sauron? It's the right eye of Sauron! Okay, cool. We did it. We have done it. Um, if there wasn't still another path I wanted to check real quick, I'd say I'd cut here and we'd meet you next time. But there's still another path over here on the other side of this fucking room that I want to look at. Fuck you for getting your turn first. Don't you dare. Don't you even dare. I don't even want to fight them when they get their turn first, dude. It ruins it for me. It really does. Um, I'll do it though because I'm fucking stupid. Fight them. Because I'm fucking stupid. Let's go. Let's go. If we can just get rid of get rid of one. Alright, I feel much better about my life and things going on in it now. These things have so many different attacks. It's kinda crazy actually. Between Allure, Elect Repel, the Force Shield thing, the other fucking shield thing they did earlier. Regular attacks. I mean they got they got a whole fucking spew of skills. Spew, yeah, you heard me. It's not even the right word, but I like it. Anyway, we learned Medi and all the other healing moves. So that's pretty sweet. Medi, yeah. I'm gonna set that shit up right now. Who doesn't want to heal all move, dude? Hell yeah, give me that shit. Medi, ocho y medi. Um, with for that, we're gonna have to get rid of something though. Um, honestly, what would be the best? I think we can get rid of Matera. I haven't really used Matera effectively much. Regular Terra, sure, but Matera. I haven't found a lot of groups of enemies that are weak to Terra. So, I'd say but Matera can go for now. For now! If we find a lot of enemies around that are, you know, groups of weak to Earth, obviously that's what we want, but for now, we're okay with that. Void Earth, though, however, which is what I was considering, is not what I want to get rid of, so. I still use that shit sometimes, occasionally. More than I was using Matera, for sure. <clears throat> the only times I was using Matera was just to be efficient with damage on three different enemies or more. Which really isn't that efficient with not doing that much damage. <laughs> sometimes it's better off to just focus on one enemy at a time. So there's one less enemy to sit there and deal damage with you trying to kill all of them. It's all about managing mischief. <clears throat> and also drinking the water and having to go down your lung instead of your throat. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Can't even take a swig of water, man. It's okay, like I said, this episode's gonna end as soon as I get a chance to look at the other half of this. Oh, I can't go this way. Because I'm gonna fall through that hole. Shizza, 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 shizza. Shizza, 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 We can go this way, though. Shizza, 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 shizza. I was just gonna comment on how I didn't fight a lot, a lot of battle through that whole block. That was pretty good, though. That was pretty neat. That was a pretty neat picnic basket. Ah, he's still stunned. You know what? Fuck this. No, don't fail. Ugh. Ugh. My first failure to retreat, man. I just want to see what's on the other side of this door. That's all I want. I don't even. I don't even care. Let me go. Thank you. I was gonna be very sad if I didn't run that time. Okay, let me get rid of this electric crap because I don't know what the fuck. And I'm definitely gonna have to fight more battles on my way back off screen when I'm when I'm done here. So let's just get rid of this stun crap. I will also heal all of my HP. Just fuck it, it does. And let's get in there. 
Is there a treasure in here at least? There's a save point in here. Wow, okay. Well, what a perfect place to end the episode then. Next time on Let's Play Digital Devil Saga. I'll actually meet you back at the other save point. Actually, we could just teleport back there. What am I even what am I even saying? Meet you. What a fucking convenient teleport this actually is. We can just teleport back to the main, dude. Which is where we're going to meet you next episode. Look, I don't even have to do anything off screen now. No walking back for me. In the next one, we'll put in the right eye and unlock the last trap. And I assume we're going to be done here. There can't be that much more to this place after that. Like, there's probably going to be boss fight, story stuff, obviously. But I'm just saying, like, that. once that happens, we're done here. And I'm assuming we're going to do that all in the next one. I think. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just spewing out my mouth, as usual. And, uh, well, find out how my spew goes in the next one. Remember, leave me some topics to talk about next time. Um, that would be helpful. Well, maybe not next time, but, you know, for future reference. If you don't want to put any topics on the episode where you know it's going to be mostly story, then you don't have to. But just know that maybe in the next one you'll have to if there's another dungeon. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!